sometimes it's a bit overwhelming. Uh, you have to deal with the children and their emotions because they're little people too. You have to make them happy, safe, secure. So you just gotta make do what you can, especially when you're not by yourself. I gotta do for them. We are now at Jane Adams Lutheran Shelter. My name is Benjamin Todd Sr. I'm from West Philadelphia, 46. I'm currently disabled right now, waiting for, you know, to hear back from disability. Uh, I was living with my sister for a while, but they're moving down south. So I had to, you know, come into a shelter, me and my two children. Every day for, I want to say, seven months, I called and called and called and called. I didn't hear anything back. But this one particular day, I said, you know what? I'm just going to go down there. And I went down there. I said, Mr. Todd, we have a place for you to go. And from that day forth, I was here. Some things are hard, but for the most part, um, it's in the middle. In the beginning, it was new. It was like like I was really like having a problem getting on. I didn't know who my teacher was. Um, I didn't know what class I was in. I didn't know the meeting code. I didn't know the classroom, and like I just didn't know anything. Kids got their classes at 8:30 at start. It's not exactly hard. The only inconvenience may be the children don't want to be home. So they want to be in school, they want to see their friends. I feel they take their lessons a little more seriously because they know that their parent is also around. With the new restrictions, we can't sit down in the cafeteria, right? At this moment, we gotta pretty much eat in our rooms. They gotta do their classes in the room. With the restrictions, we are kind of confined right now. That's not the best of you know, living conditions, not as far as squalor or nothing like that, but all three of us in one room at the same time, all day long. Where there's a will, there's a way. You're not, it's a shelter, and you're not meant to stay here forever. You know, you're meant to get here and move on to your next step in life, which I've been blessed to have. So now I'm in the process of actually finding a place of residency. We'll find something, I have faith. I don't care where I go. I'm just grateful to have my family, to have God and have a roof over my head.